one of the most difficult tasks to track in your business accounting software is inventory particularly in a restaurant environment it can be very difficult to maintain an accurate inventory as such our software provides several tools to help you accurately keep track of your inventory and your costs the inventory process in the restaurant system begins with defining food recipes when you select define food recipes you have the ability to add modify or delete a food recipe as well as viewing or printing recipes that you've created to create a food recipe select add you can use the pick list to define the product that you want to define a recipe for and you can then enter all of the items that are required to generate this product this requires that in addition to creating product IDs for all of your menus you would also create product IDs for the specific items that would be included uh, in a recipe the raw materials as such let's create some raw material inventory items for a hamburger we're going to need a hamburger bun which we can specify that we have 100 on hand as well as a cost of 50 cents each be aware that for raw material items it's typically not necessarily to assign any pricing because the item will never be sold by itself let's also create a burger patty Oops. and again with some specified cost at this point we can now define a food recipe so we can select our cheeseburger specify that it includes oops, a hamburger bun one change our description to uh, our sort to description and we can find our hamburger quantity one and we've now defined a food recipe for a hamburger at this point in time when we post table sales the raw materials for a hamburger will be removed from inventory rather than removing a completed hamburger from inventory so that's the first step is to set up the food recipes for all of your items the second step then uh, would be to manage your restaurant inventory uh, including food waste to record food waste you can enter the food waste module you can select a date that you're entering waste for and then you can begin to enter your food waste if for example we had wasted up to our own product ID we need to be okay we'll just go a wrapped ham and we can specify that I wasted one of these you can specify waste type codes this was spilled or cooked wrong or whatever and if you want to track shifts you can also track shifts and then you'd be ready to enter the next item or to modify this item when you're finished you can post waste which will allow you to verify the general ledger accounts that will be used and remove the items from inventory as well as doing the appropriate general ledger uh, entries in addition to recording food waste, when you post table sales, your inventory items are removed so that your inventory should remain accurate. The next step is to use the restaurant inventory module to do your cycle counts and to make sure that what is in the software is accurate. Uh, this can help you to track food theft or spoilage or other types of loss. In the restaurant inventory module, you can print a cycle count report. The cycle count report simply shows you all of the products that you have defined as well as what the currently specified quantity on hand is and allows you to specify the number that you've counted as well as the adjustment that needs to be made. Once you've counted your product, you can enter cycle count adjustments which allows you to specify for each item how many were actually counted. So assuming that uh, we counted 
ten loaves of bread instead of just one or ten bread items uh, or instead of the zero hamburger buns there, a hundred hamburger buns. This would allow you to specify what is actually on hand. Once you've entered your adjustments, you can print a discrepancy report that will show you the differences that you're about to post, assuming that you post, and then you can post your inventory cycle count changes. This will adjust your inventory amount and print a posting report to show you the adjustments that were made. This is called a periodic inventory. The perpetual versus periodic inventory discrepancies allows you to view uh, for each of the cycle counts that you've performed what the differences are so that you can track differences in, in real versus perpetual or versus software tracked inventory. You also have the ability to manually adjust inventory. When you select manually adjust inventory, you will be taken to the inventory module from the business accounting software. This allows you to manually modify inventory records including costs, storage locations, storage dates, etc. For more information on the functionality available in this module, please see the video training series for the standard business accounting software. Additionally, you can view manual changes to inventory, uh, which just allows you to, to see an audit trail of manual changes that have been done. And if you have enabled the daily inventory snapshot, you can print a daily inventory snapshot of any day for which that information has been recorded.